Hey, welcome back to Super Data World. Today we're going to talk about bar and column charts in Data Studio, perfect for visualizing proportions of a whole. So we're going to go into BigQuery and we're going to pick the public data sets and we're going to use a bike rental data set from Austin today. So Austin Bike Share and Austin Bike Share Trips. I'm going to add that to an untitled report. I'm going to pull it out, make it a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to change this into a column chart, which is the first chart here. So a bit too many, um, a bit too many different bars in this. So to reduce that down, you go into the style because I only want to see my top five. So I'm going to just pick five of bars here. So max five bars, and this will just come up with your top five bars. And you can sort this down and sort by ascending, descending, and then we can start showing you some more functionality of this. To increase the granularity, I'm going to put a start time into my breakdown dimension. And I just want to pull the year from this just to reduce it down a bit further. Still probably too many in the breakdown dimension here. So I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to filter this to a start time between uh, the start of 2020 and um, now. So pretty easy now it could probably be three bars so there's 2020 2021 and 2022 i'm going to put another bar chart below just to show you the uh, filtering options between charts so i'm going to just put a start station name into the dimension here and a record count into my metric get rid of trip id and then when i drill into anything then it'll drill below so if i go just pick five here again so I've got five stations here. I want to see the top five stations per student membership in 2022. I can just select that and then that will filter my uh, graph below. Same if I want to pick something else. So there's loads of different options in bar and column charts. There's six altogether. This is stack chart and we can get this in either the chart menu or the style menu. Put that back to five. We can have a 100% uh, column chart you can either do that below or above, and that will just show you what makes up 100% of each total. So not super useful. We can then also do bar charts for all these as well. So a bar chart for um, our normal chart, and we can pull this out to show the labels here. We can go with a stacked bar chart and then we can go with 100% as well. So there's all the different options. Um, as I said, you can change these in the style menu or you can change them by changing the chart. Uh, but I think the one we were going with in the first place uh, was the best. So we're gonna go back to that. Now, other things you can do is you can add extra dimensions in here. So these are drill down dimensions. And then when they're added, you can drill down into them itself. So I've drilled down into my next dimension, start station name. And from the start station name, I'm drilling down into end station name. And this will show me all the end stations. So you just put these in your dimension and you're good to go. You can drill up either in the chart or in the point itself. Next thing we want to look at is additional metrics. So you can click optional metrics here and put in another metric. So I put in another metric of duration minutes and up here there's an optional metric screen or I can just choose duration of minutes instead of record count. And you can see that all my minutes are there for each of my bars. So that's super useful if you wanna have loads of options on one chart. Again, we can do the sort on ascending or descending with that. And that's gonna change what's in the chart itself. A bit more on the styling. We can change it from a bar to a column chart. We can change, put on stacked bars here. Uh, we can show data labels. We can compact those numbers, which is super useful. So we can change what's there. So this is now K and I can change as many decimal places as I want underneath. I'll stick it back to auto. Colors, we can change the bar color here from bar order. We can have a single color. And then you just go down and you can change the colors here uh, and that'll change your color. With Google Data Studio, sometimes you have to change it and then click somewhere else and then it changes inside. So we'll just go with this one here. We can add reference lines. So for instance, we can add averages. And um, so I'm gonna add a reference line here. I'm gonna say a metric and the metric I'm gonna choose is the average of record count. And you can see there's an average there with a dotted white line. 
we can change this um, where we can change the name of the label or we can change the styling of the line itself. Other quick things, we can reverse the accesses on the Y and X axis, change those directions as well. And it's really just about playing around with this and see what suits your particular use case. Uh, we can add the labels on the X and Y axis. Then we can go in and start customizing the grid colors. So this will customize the grid itself. So that's all the text on the grid. So you can see now that's back black. You can customize the color of the lines. You can change the legend around to different places. So the legend is up the top. It's now should be on the right, but it's gone. Let's go to data studio. And then we can change that to the bottom and put it into the center. We can also change the color of the background. Change it back to white. That doesn't look that doesn't look great. I think I change it back to gray. We get that back to white. And we can also change the color of the border, make that dotted or make that thicker. So that was really column and bar charts in a nutshell. Lots of stuff there, lots of different options. Most importantly are kind of the drill downs and the extra metrics. Uh, but I would suggest just go have a play around with yourself and see where you get to. Hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. I'll see you very soon for another Google Data Studio tutorial.